Hi everyone and welcome. So my name is Andrew Watts and today I will teach you how you can build this website. So let's have a look. Okay everyone, so this is the website we're gonna build today. We're gonna use a theme called Newspaper 8. This is a how to do a website tutorial from scratch to finish. So we're gonna add a logo, we're gonna add menus, we're gonna show you how you can add a latest post right here on the home page and also how to add a post. We're gonna show you how you can add widgets in the sidebar right here and also how you can install your Facebook feed. We're gonna show you how you can add your Instagram feed right here below the uh, post. We're gonna show you how you can edit the footer. So here we got editor pics, popular post, popular category, logo, about us, our email, follow us icons to our social media networks. All right, we also have a contact page and we got our social icons right here. Okay everyone, so this is the website we're gonna build. We're gonna use the theme Newspaper 8. We're also gonna use Hostgator.com for hosting. So I got two coupon codes that you can choose from. I got one cent trial. Try this out for one cent only. And I got up to 60% off the price and 4.99 domains. All right. So you can choose one of them, save some money, up to $160. All right. Uh, disclaimer, I am affiliated with uh, Hostgator.com and uh, Theme Forest, where we're going to get newspaper 8. That means if you use one of these, I will get a small commission. All right. Okay, so if you're ready to build a website, let's go. Okay, so we are using Hostgator. This is a hosting uh, provider. And you will find the link in the description below. So this will take you to this page. All right. So this is a powerful web hosting and you will get easy control panel. You can try this demo if you like. You will also get one click script installs. And that means uh, WordPress. We're going to use WordPress in this tutorial. And you also get $100 Google AdWord offer, $100 Yahoo Bing credit, email marketing con stand contact 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee if you change your mind you have 45 days money back guarantee also 24 7 365 days a year technical support all right if you have some problem you can just click on support and you get support through live chat or contact them by phone so that's awesome. And I will also give you uh, promo codes that you can choose to save some extra money. Uh, you get uh, one cent for one month. You can try this out. And also if you want to buy a bigger package, I have 60% off and also uh, 4 dollars for domains. So that's awesome. So what we need to do now is just click on get started now. Okay, so this will take us to this page. So here you can choose a hatchling plan, baby plan, or business plan. So hatchling plan is if you want to have one website, so single domain, you will get one click installs. So that is for WordPress that we're gonna use in this tutorial. And unmetered bandwidth, you can click on this one and read about it. So that means you're not charged according to the amount of disk space or bandwidth you use. All right, so that's awesome. Or if you want to have more than one website, you're gonna use this one, baby plan or business plan. So if you choose baby plan, you get unlimited domains, one click installs, and same thing here, unmetered bandwidth. If you choose business plan, you also get this private SSL and IP and free VOIP phone service. All right. So choose the one that suits you the best. If you're just going to do one website, choose hatchling plan. Or if you want to have more than one website, choose one of these. 
So in this tutorial, I'm gonna use a hatchling plan. So click on sign up now. Okay, so this will take you to this page. So now you can register a new domain. If you have one, you can just click on this one and add your domain. All right, so search if your domain is available, then click on enter. Okay, so this one is available. You can also choose if you want to have .club, .site, and all of these. Then just click on check, and you will have .com and .club. And this is the price, $9.95 or $15 per year. So I will uncheck this one, then go down. If you don't want to have domain privacy protection, just click on uncheck this one because this one costs $1.08 per month. Then go down. So this is the package hatchling and the billing cycle. We will have a look at this later. I will show you the promo codes and how much you can save. Then click on a new username. All right, choose a security pin, four to eight digits. Enter your billing information. Then if you don't want to pay for this, you can uncheck this one and this one. And here we're gonna add the coupon code. So the first I have is W-A-A-T-Z. This is for one cent for one month, then click on validate. Go up and choose one month. Go down. So now we get hatchling one month for one cent. And this is for the domain for one year, 12.95. Okay, so if you want to have up to 60% off, just type in WAATZ60, click on validate. So this is up to 60% off and uh, 4 dollars for domains. And also if you want to buy themes in the store, you get 60% off. So if you click on the billing cycle, 1, 3 and 6 month, you get 20% off. If you choose 12 month, you get 40% off, 24 month, you get 50% off, and if you choose 36 month, you get 60% off. Okay, so if I click on 36 month and go down, so if you don't want to have hosting add ons, just go up and uncheck this one more time. Okay, so you will save $160. And you only pay $105 for 36 months. So that's awesome. So choose the one that suits you the best, one cent for one month, or up to 60% off the price, depending on which package you choose. All right. Then uh, click on I have read and agree to the terms, cancellation policy, privacy policy. I have also read and agreed to constant contact terms and conditions and mail terms of service. Okay, check this one, then click on check out now. Just follow the steps and this will create a HostGator hosting account. Okay, so after the checkout, you should have a welcome email. So you can click on the link and get to hostgator.com and click on customer portal. Enter your username and password. Click on login. Okay, so this is the dashboard of HostGator. To install WordPress, we're gonna click on hosting. Go down to WordPress one click installation. Okay, 
Then click on install WordPress. Now choose the domain you want to install WordPress on. Choose a admin email. Enter a blog title. You can change this later. Uh, enter admin user. Your first name and your last name. Okay, then click on install WordPress. Okay, so your install is complete. You should get this uh, email. You can click on this one. And uh, congratulations, your new WordPress install is completed. Uh, below you find instructions on how to access your WordPress website. All right. So this is the URL to your website, and this is the admin URL. So if you click on this one, you're gonna add the username and this password. So just copy this password. It can take a couple of hours before it's installed completely on the web, but we're gonna try this. So click on this link. And add your admin username and add the password. You can click on remember me, then click on login. Okay, great. So we have the WordPress installed. So this is the dashboard, the admin panel of WordPress. So you got dashboard, uh, post, media, pages, comments, VP forms, marketplace appearance, plugins, users, tools, settings. So we're gonna go through the basics that you're gonna need along this tutorial. If you click on this one, you can see uh, how your website looks right now. Okay, so this is the basic theme that comes with WordPress. We're gonna choose another theme. So to do this, just click on dashboard. Go down to appearance, click on themes. Okay, so here we're gonna click on Upload. Go to Upload Theme. So here we want to add a zip file. So we want to use Newspaper 8 Theme. So to do this, just go to the link below in the description. And this will take you to this page. So the newspaper 8 theme cost 59 bucks. So you can read about it. And check it out. It's a high professional theme. You will get six months support from Tag Dive. So just add the cart and follow the steps. After that, Let's go to your downloads, go to the theme, click on download, and choose Instable WordPress file only, then go back, click on choose file, click on the zip file, choose open, click on install now. Go to activate. Okay, so now we have the newspaper 8 installed on our WordPress site. Then go to activate theme. So now we want to enter your 
purchased code. So go back to Theme Forest, click on license uh, text, open that, and uh, copy this code. Go back to WordPress and paste it right here. And click on activate theme. Okay, theme successfully activated. You can go and have a look. So just click on this one, visit site. Okay, so this is the new theme, newspaper 8. So first we want to create a menu. So to do this, just go to admin. Go to create pages, add new. Okay, so we're gonna add some pages. You can add as many as you like. We're gonna add some example pages. So we're gonna add home, click on publish. Click on add new. Then we're gonna add about us. Click on publish. Click on add new. Then I'm gonna add a contact us page. Click on publish. Okay, so these are the pages we're gonna use in this tutorial. Then go to appearance, choose menus. Go to menu name type in main menu, click on create, okay, so now we're gonna add the pages you want to have here, so I want to have home and about us, click on add to menu, and I want to have home to be first, so just drag it like that, and then we want to have display location, choose header menu this you can leave blank if you want save menu then we're gonna create a top menu so create a new menu type in top menu choose create and choose contact us, click on add and you can choose display location, top and footer click on save menu okay so let's go and have a look So now we have the home and about us page right here in the main menu. We have contact us in the top menu and right here in the footer menu. Okay, so then we can add some categories. So to do this, just go to the admin, go down to post, click on categories. So here you can uh, add some categories. So I will add recipe, recipes, uh, if you want to have a URL friendly version, you can add recipes again. A parent category, none, then click on add new category. And you can add another one. You can just copy this one, paste it right here. If you want, you can add the description. Click on Add New. Okay, so this is how you add categories. Then we're gonna add a new logo. So we're gonna add a logo right here. So let's go to theme, 
panel, this one. So this is where you can change uh, a lot of settings. So this is the theme panel. You can change header, footer, ads, uh, layout, settings. You can add analytics, social networks, and things like that. So first we're gonna add a logo. So you can change the style. So I want to have this one, style 10. Then we're gonna go to logo and favicon. Click on upload. Okay, then click on select files. Choose your logo, click on open. Then click on insert into post. Okay, so if you want, you can add the Retina logo upload. You can add a favicon. So the favicon is this one, the small picture that you see up here. If you want, you can add text logo. And you can only use this for style 9, style 10, and style 11. Then click on save settings. Okay, so let's go and have a look. Okay, so now we have the logo right here in the center. So what we can do now, we can create the post. So you can find this under new, this one post, or you can go to admin, go to post, click on add new. So then we can enter a title. Okay, so this will be a recipe. It's just an example. Then we want to have some text. Okay, so this is just an example text. So what you can do is you can uh, use this menu to change this text, you can choose bold, italic, bullet list, a numbered list, you can align left, center, add links and things like that. First you can add a headline. So to make this a headline, just highlight it, go to paragraph and choose which one. So this is heading one, like that. Then you can just highlight this one, choose bold, you can do italic. You can make a bullet list. Like that. So if I go here and click on enter, I can make another one. All right. If you want to create a link, do the same thing. Just highlight, choose insert link, add a URL, click on apply. Okay, so now we have a link. Okay, so then we want to have an image. And if you want to have free images, I can recommend pixabay.com. So this is high quality images you can use for free. So I want to have a smoothie recipe. Just take the image. So you can see free for commercial use, no attribution required. Click on free, download, choose the size, and click on download. Go back, and hold the marker where you want to have the image, then click on add media, choose upload files, click on select files, choose the image,
and to make it more search engine friendly let's type in what's in the picture in the title and in the alt text then you can choose size click on insert into post okay so now we have an image then we can take another photo we can take this one download like that then we can take this as a featured image click on set featured image upload files select files choose the image click on open just enter title enter it in the alt text as well and click on set and click on set featured image okay so when you are satisfied with the post you can go right here you can choose the category you can add a tag separate with a comma then click on add so now we got smoothie and recipe if you want you can add a video so you can add a video link from YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion, Facebook, Twitter uh, you need to choose one of these styles to do this All right. When you're satisfied, just go up, click on publish. I will also add this in featured and uncategorized. Okay, click on update. Okay, so let's go and have a look. All right, so now we got the latest post right here. So now I'm going to change the layout. So we want to have more than a big post on the front page. So to do this, just go to theme panel. Go to template settings. Go to this one, blog and post template. Okay, so here you can choose which one you want to have. You can see the example right here. How you will present the post. So I want to use this one, M11. You can also change the sidebar if you want to have none or to the left. All right, then click on save changes. Let's go back to the website and have a look. Okay, so now we have this layout and we can delete this one. This is just an example post. So to do this, let's go to admin, go to post, all post, click on this one, choose move to trash click on apply and if you want you can go to trash click on this one and delete permanently click on apply okay so now it's gone let's go back and now we only have our latest post all right so i'm going to add some more example posts to fill this page out Okay, so I have added some extra post to fill this page out. All right, so this is how it looks. And now I'm gonna edit the footer, change layout and things like that. 
So to do this, just go to theme panel, go to footer. Okay, so footer settings, show footer, yes or no, footer templates. So right now we have this one. And if you want to add your own information, you're going to use one of these. So I'm going to use style 9. Save settings. And if you have an Instagram account, you can add images above the footer. So to do this, just enable this one. Enter your Instagram ID. So this is your Instagram username. Number of images per row, I will add eight. Number of rows, one is enough. Image gap, no gap. Footer info content. If you want to add a footer logo, a footer retina logo, logo alt attribute, okay. So I will not enter anything of this. Foot text. You can add your email. Show social icons. Yes. Save settings. Foot the background. If you want to have a special background, a sub footer settings. Okay, so here you can add your URL. It's a copyright text. A copyright symbol, yes. Footer menu. Which one? Okay, save settings. So let's go and have a look. All right, so now we have the Instagram feed right here. And we also got the copyright text with the URL right here. You can also type in the year if you want. So to add uh, widgets right here in the footer, let's go to widgets. You can also find widgets under appearance and widgets. Okay, so this is footer one, two, and three. And these are the widgets that you can add to one of these. So let's say we want to have a menu. I want to add it in footer two. Add widget. Title. Select menu, main menu. Click on save. Then you can add recent post. I can add this at footer 3. Add widget. Add a title. Number of posts to show 5. Display post state yes or no. Click on save. Uh, footer 1. So maybe you want to add categories. Choose footer one, add widget. Add a title. Uh, select display as drop down, show post count, show hierarchy. Yes or no? I will leave it as it is. Click on save. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so now we have the categories, we have the menu, we have recent post. Okay, so this is how you add widgets in the footer with your own layout. But I want to have the layout that comes with Newspaper 8 theme. So to do this, just go back to widgets. You can delete these widgets. Just click on delete. Click on delete, 
click on delete okay so now we don't have any widgets in the footer so then go to newspaper go to theme panel go to footer and I'm gonna use this one style one click on save settings okay so let's go back and have a look okay so now we have editor pics popular post popular category logo about us uh, contact us follow us All right so we want to add some social icons under follow us so to do this just go to theme panel go to social networks so here you can add all your social networks you can choose from all of these so they want a link to your profile so let's say i want to have a link to youtube let's go to youtube go to your channel copy link go back and paste it right here all right save settings and then you can add another one so just add link to this one and maybe Instagram, Google, Facebook. Okay, then click on Save Settings. Go back to the website and have a look. Okay, so now we have Facebook, Google Plus, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. And if they click on this one with the link, They will come to your channel all right so this is how you add social icons okay so now i can show you how you can add text under about us and also how you can add these logos right here in the top bar so to do this just go to theme panel so to add the social icons you can go to header Go to top bar, go down to show social icons, yes. You can also change top bar layout. So this is the menu and this is the social icons. You can have them to the left, in the center, or to the right, with the menu in the middle, to the left, to the right. Okay, so choose the one you want to have, then click on save. Then to change the about text, go to footer, go down to footer info content. So in footer text, you can add about us. Okay. Click on save changes. Let's go back and have a look. Okay, so now we have the social icons right here in the top bar menu to the right. And if you go down, we have the text under about us. Okay, so now we're gonna go and edit the sidebar. So to do this, let's go to widgets. So here you see all the widgets that you have right now. So if you want, you can delete some and save some. So I want to delete this one. I want to delete this one. Okay. And then I want to add a widget that we don't have right here. So to do this, we're going to install a new widget.
and you will also learn how you can add your own widgets so to add your own widgets plugins just go to plugins go to add new so this is the place where you can install a lot of different plugins for your website so you can start, so you can see popular recommended favorites premium and they cost money so we're gonna go back so as you can see you can just find the one that suits you the best but but in this case we're gonna install Facebook feed Okay, so we're gonna use this one, Facebook page plugin. We're gonna click on install now. We're gonna click on activate. Okay, so then we're gonna go to appearance, go to widgets, find the plugin, click on it, and add it to the newspaper default. Okay, so add a title. page URL so go to your page page URL so go to your Facebook page so in this case I'm gonna use this page so in this case I'm gonna use this page let's go and copy the URL go back paste it right here this one you can leave blank height you can choose I'm choosing 600. If you want to have a cover photo, show face pile, page tabs, timeline, events, messages, a small header, call to action, hide, hide call to action, small header, adaptive vid, yes, display link while loading, yes or no. A site language I'm gonna choose English click on save close and I'm gonna move this now we can move this around where you want to have it I want to have this under search okay so let's go and have a look Okay, so now we have search. We have like us on Facebook. So we have, uh, and we have the, and we have the Facebook feed, timeline, events, messages. They can like you right here from some post. Okay. We got recent posts, recent comments, categories. Okay, so this is how you edit your widgets in sidebar and also how do you and also how you install a new widget. Okay, so if you click on this one, home, you see that this page is empty. So we're gonna make this page to a static page with our latest post. So to do this, just go to customize.
go to static front page a static page go to this one post page choose home okay so when people click on home they will come to this page our latest post click on save and publish go back you can also change site identity so you're gonna add site title you can add your URL and you can add a tagline you can describe what your site is all about like that and if you want you can add a site icon then click on save and publish click on X okay so this is how you change your home to a static page and how you change site title and tagline okay so now we're gonna go and fix our contact page so we can click on this one now it's empty so we want to install a plugin a contact form so to do this just go to admin go down to plugins click on add new okay so then just click on popular and you have this one contact form 7 click on install now click on activate okay go to the sidebar click on contact so if you go down here we see that we already have one contact form that we can use let's click on edit so in this form you have your name your email subject your message and a send button okay and if you want to play around you can choose one of these all right then go to mail so here you're gonna add the mail where you want to have the contact form And here you can change from subject additional headers message body okay so if you change something right here just click on save then go to messages so here you can change the messages if you want all right so after that just copy this short code go to pages all pages go to contact us click on edit okay so click right here and paste the short code and if you want you can also add images and text about your contact page okay then click on update so now we can go to our website click on contact us now we have the contact page right here so they can add your name your email subject and the message then click on send and you will get your message in your inbox to the email that you chosen all right so let's go to home okay everyone so the website is done this is all for this wordpress tutorial so we have a ready to go website Okay everyone, so this is all for this tutorial. I hope you have now an awesome website. So if you want, you can give thumbs up, leave a comment. You can share this video if you like. 
You can also subscribe to my channel right here or check out my latest video right here. And if you need help from me, hire me for anything like social media management and things like that, please contact me. you find contact information in the description below. Okay, so good luck with your website. Have an awesome day. Take care and bye.